Now, I've been mentioning a couple of times that things might look a bit different on Java 11. So I'm going to switch this application to be running Java 11 now. OK, I've switched to the Java 11 version of this project off camera. And if I run the same main method now, Well, this is, I think, really confusing. We start with 260,000 kilobytes of memory. It goes down to 229. It's still at 229. And then after the GC command, it's gone down hugely to just 9,000 kilobytes of memory. Well, one thing this tells me is that certainly calling the GC method meant that the garbage collection process definitely ran in this instance. So why, however, is the amount of available memory so much less in Java 11? Well, that's because of an optimization in the Java 11 garbage collection process, which didn't exist in the default garbage collector for Java 8. Now, I'm going to be talking in a couple of chapters time about tuning the garbage collector. So some of this will make a bit more sense when we know more about the differences between the garbage collection algorithms in Java 8 and Java 11. But if you recall, I think I said when we talked about the tuning of the Java virtual machine, that you can specify a maximum size of your heap, but that the virtual machine won't request that total size from the operating system. If we say we want our heap to be four gigabytes, the virtual machine won't, when your application starts, immediately reserve four gigabytes of your computer's memory just for your application. But as your application runs and more and more of that memory is needed, it goes to the operating system and requests it. Well, in Java 11, when garbage collection runs, the virtual machine will potentially say, and it has done in this instance, I've got lots of memory allocated to me that I really don't need. I'll give some of it back to the operating system. So the amount of memory that the virtual machine has taken from the operating system to run your application, if you're running Java 8 or below, it can never go down. But in Java 11, it can go down. And that's what's happened in this instance. Now, in normal circumstances, that's perfectly fair and reasonable. But from a performance point of view, there is an impact of this enhancement. If you recall, one of the things we said before is that Every time your virtual machine needs to go to the operating system to say, can I have a bit more memory, please? There'll be a slight impact on performance. And the way that we get around that, we've already seen, is by using a flag to tell the virtual machine when you start, request a particular value to be the initial heap size. And even in Java 11, if you use that flag, the virtual machine will never let the amount of memory you've reserved go below that initial heap size. So to see that, let's run this again with that flag. And I think we'll set the initial heap size to be 300 megabytes. I'm doing this in the IDE, so I'm going to click on Run and Run Configurations. And then I can put in the VM argument. So I want to set the initial heap size. I'm going to use the shortcut version of the flag. So that was dash capital X MS. The amount of memory is going to be 300 and then the letter M for megabytes. So let's apply that and run it. And that looks better. So this time we started with 305,000 kilobytes. It went down to 274. But after the garbage collection ran, we're back up. And actually, it's similar to what we saw in Java 8. We have slightly more now. We have 306,000 kilobytes.